Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is keeping them dirty. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, what? But listen, with many foods, their lifespan all depends on how you care for them, right? And I've got some tips and tricks for you. Now with veggies, don't immediately wash off the excess dirt. Don't right? And the dampness makes them deteriorate faster in storage. It really does. And don't forget to clean them just prior to preparing them for when you're eating them. Yeah. Now let's talk about cake and white bread. Okay. If you're lucky enough to have cake to spare, keep it from drying out by covering the exposed areas with sliced bread held in place by a few toothpicks. The slices will get stale before the cake does. Yeah. So the next thing, let's talk about broccoli and celery in aluminum foil. What's the point of eating celery without that satisfying crunch? Wrap celery and wrap broccoli in aluminum foil and place it in the fridge to make that crunch stick around for a few weeks. Now let's talk about cheese storage. You bought more cheese than you think you could handle or it was on sale, right? Don't worry. If you store cheese in a grease proof paper, it keeps it from sweating and it keeps it from molding. So now let's talk about onions. In nylon stockings, yeah, put onions in a stocking and tie a knot between each one. Storing them separately rather than in a bunch keeps them fresher longer and pantyhose, you miracle product, you. How dare you? So the next one is bread in a brown paper bag. Keeping your freshly baked bread soft and not hard as a baseball bat. <laughs> Wrap the bread in a kitchen towel and then place it in a paper bag. This keeps it from drying out but still lets the loaf breathe. So the next one is apples in the fridge. Once an apple season hits, you have to be prepared because apples have a longer shelf life than any other fruit, but popping them in the fridge and leaving a little space in between can make them last for up to six months. Yeah. So let's talk about lemon juice or olive oil on avocados. Use only like half of an avocado in your guacamole, right? Or if you're making um, uh, avocado toast, keep the other half from turning brown by brushing the, the, the meat of the avocado with some olive oil or some lemon juice, okay? It stops it from becoming gross. The, so the next one is don't refrigerate your bread. I'm guilty of this. I really am. Break out a bread box. It's co a common misconception that bread lasts longer in the fridge, but actually storing it in there causes the starches to recrystallize faster than they would at room temperature. So the next one is let's talk about freezing milk. Nothing is worse than buying a gallon of milk and living in an expiration date fold frenzy. Freeze the milk. Yeah. Defrost it and then use it for um, about an entire three months. So the next one are apples and potatoes. A gnarled sprout came off of the potato and it could spoil any spud lover's appetite. So toss a few apples in with your potatoes for storage and that keeps them uh, um, growth free. It does. And an apple a day keeps the potatoes growth away. Yeah. So let's talk about berries. Berries and vinegar. Use a nine to one ratio of water and vinegar. Soak and then drain your berries before letting them dry. Not only does it make the berries last longer, but it also kills any kind of like nasty microorganisms that are lurking on them. So let's talk about pineapples. If you cut off the crown and place the pineapple on its head, it will stay fresh longer and your fingers will thank you. <laughs> you never have to curse the sharp prickly's end of the pineapple again. So wrap your greens in a paper towel. Wilted lettuce makes for a sad salad. It does. So keep it crispy and by storing it in wrapped 
uh, in a paper towel to absorb the excess moisture. And let's talk about green onions or spring onions. Uh, put, put them in water and you no need to cry over stale onions ever again and keeping your onions in a glass of water. Uh, this will not only keep them crisp, crispy, but it will you'll be able to employ your green thumb and grow new onions from the bulbs. They'll just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. So the next one is fresh herbs. If you want to moonlight as a chopped champion, <laughs> ration out your freshly picked herbs by placing them in an ice cube tray and adding a little bit of olive oil. Now freeze that tray, okay? And you'll have pre-prepared seasoned cubes for your skillet. You will. Now let's talk about bananas. Wrap your bananas. Sometimes it feels like bananas turn the moment that they enter your house, doesn't it? So wrap the stems of your bananas in cling wrap to make them, uh, the, the browning slow down, okay? So eggs in your freezer, I do this, okay? Using a dozen eggs before they expire can feel almost impossible. So get creative and crack open your eggs and place them in an ice cube tray. I like the silicone ice cube trays myself and sprinkle a little bit of sugar or salt to avoid graininess and now freeze them. Now let's talk about ground beef. Portion out your ground beef and it may be what's for dinner. You just never know in this house especially, but you can have it tomorrow for lunch too and separate it into several sandwich bags, roll them flat and freeze it out and the beef will last longer and thaw quicker. Yeah. Now let's talk about brown sugar. Okay, brown sugar, it's the last one. Freeze your brown sugar. Have you ever tried to uh, bake but discovered that your brown sugar turned into a bulletproof lump? <laughs> Next time, toss it in the freezer to keep it permanently soft. Yeah. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one, okay? You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fear less. Ciao.